Hey guys, this is the audio I was talking about. Hopefully this works. Um, just do a really good job on this. It's not that long of an article, but you're going to have to read it carefully. You're going to have to take some notes over it. And I don't mean a ton of notes. It's a one, two, three, four page article. I'm thinking you could write a few things for each section and that would be enough. And as you're taking notes, determine which one, which, what are main ideas versus just examples or details that help explain the main idea. So what you're going to do is um, you could do a who, what, where, when, and why. Um, it needs to show some effort, but it's worth two points as soon as you um, finish with your notes. I think it'll ask you to turn them in um, on page, or I mean on number eight. Okay, sorry, I'm tired, so I'm rambling. Anyway, number one, read the directions carefully. Reread the introduction. What description below best describes the change in the mood? and go through every one of these. If you can't prove it, then chances are it's the wrong answer. Um, this is an inference question, so find the author's position and read all of the questions carefully and decide. This is a context clue sentence. Um, it tells you what paragraph to find it in. Read the sentence, don't just guess. This is the author's main purpose. Um, so what do you think the main purpose is? Ask yourself, like look at each individual one of these. Find evidence. If you can't find evidence, then it's not the right answer. And then think about how we have been looking at credibility of sources. See what would you call, what would you consider um, him to be? This one is a tricky question and it's worth two points. So you got to think about it. It's not a hard question. It's just that for some reason I have kids miss this and I'm not exactly sure why, except that you're just not paying close enough attention to it. So look at all the options, find them in the text and ask yourself, can I tell what this article is based, um, is about based only on? And then if the answer is yes, then it's the right answer. And the, if the answer is no, not really, then find one that can, okay? Um, careful with this one. This is which, which choice would not be a good reason for reading this article. Be careful here. Rule out the ones you know. Um, would be, and then the one left standing is the one that you would pick. Now, I don't know what your iPad will say here, because I know you can't browse for files, but I'm hoping this works. Um, if you are having issues, one person can email me and let me know. But if someone can figure out how to do it, then make sure you explain to everybody how to do it. So take a picture of your um, of your notes and then put them, attach them here, hopefully, crossing my fingers. If that does not work, make sure your name are on your notes and you turn them in. And then I will add the points later. Um, and then here... Start your summary. You're going to write a summary of this article. So look at your notes. Yes, that was a big yawn. Sorry. It's a whopping eight, eight o'clock and I'm exhausted. Okay. You can use this sentence to start. It's a sentence starter. Feel free to use it. The article, Sunsuckers and Moon Cursors, there should be a comma right there. Um, select a strong verb like describes, illustrates, explains, and then tell what the main idea is about. That's your topic sentence. So if I was going to ask you, hey, in a couple of words, what's the whole article about? Figure that one out first, and then think of all the subheadings, subtopics. Go back and look, like look under, like this is another heading. Um, then this, this looks like another heading. Um, or section, I guess I should say, and this looks like a section. So your paragraph won't be much more than four to five, 
five sentences at the very most, and very likely it could be just four. So it says, provide ideas that support the main ideas without being super detailed. Notice those large letters that I noticed that I um, showed you. These show individual sections. Don't include the examples, but a general statement about what the examples are explaining. Yes, I just yawned again. Oh my goodness, I hope you guys aren't yawning. Anyway, I'm too tired to redo this recording, so have at it. Bye.